So Brawl Stars just dropped a new update and with it came a ton of bugs. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because the new season's in the biodome. These bugs include everything from a pay to win skin to infinite Tara clones. Yeah, that's real. But before we get things started, I wanted to announce that I'm doing a giveaway. The kind hearted people over at Supercell were nice enough to allow me to give away some Dr. Edgar skins for free. All you guys gotta do is comment your player ID. It doesn't matter where you're from and I'll just pick some people at random. And you might as well like the video while you're down there. Okay, intro done. Let's get things started. Okay, so the first bug that I wanted to talk about is Tara having infinite clones. So the way that this works is pretty simple. You just simply deploy your clones and then you have to die while your clones are still alive. So if I run over here, I'm going to let this guy shoot me. Um, and then we're going to perform this shadow clone jutsu here like we're Naruto and absolutely pop off. So we'll just wait a couple more seconds. Here we go. And one more. And there we go. Pop them. Then we die. And then we can just respawn and we're gonna have a juiced up mega clone in just two seconds now there he is a, a 4500 clone which will continue to spawn throughout the duration of a game if i were to die and the clone were to die a couple seconds later bam the clone just respawns over and over again so not only can you have this clone running around but you can also have your other shadow clones running around and then you can also on top of that have your super clone as well so okay nice i think i got it i think i got it please 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 be the one please be the one give me my minion thing please yes okay dude it took me like 20 minutes guys i finally got it basically i'm gonna sit back here and spawn infinite clones we might lose the game but i just want to show you guys that if i don't die i'll just keep producing this clone that's got 4500 hp and the enemies just have to go deal with it honestly that's it if i stay alive back here and just don't die uh, in a couple seconds and there will be another one okay or not hello there he is he'll just keep spawning over and over again and obviously you guys can see how uh you know how annoying this could be to deal with in a game boom spawn a minion there it defends me dude like <laughs> we lost this game for sure but again i just wanted to show you guys that this actually works in game not only does this work with tara but this bug also works with b so if i put the honey pot down they kill me then kill the honey pot i'll continue to spawn infinite honey pots as long as i don't die again Okay, put down the honey pot. J kill me. No, no, no. Kill me. Okay, nice. I died. There we go. And now I should be able to spawn another honey pot without moving. Hello? Oh, wait. They need to kill my honey pot. Okay, now this should work. Now this should work. Now I should be able to spawn. A <laughs> Dude, it actually works. I didn't believe it. I had to re record this segment because someone told me that that's how it worked. So will I just... Okay, they'll have to destroy that honeypot again, unfortunately. But uh, either way, it's pretty crazy. Okay, I think um, just cut right there until we until they kill my honeypot, I guess. Okay, nice. There we go. I should be able to proc another honeypot. I just got to get out of the spawn so they come out and destroy it. Because if, if it gets back, put back here, I'm actually carrying. Unrelated to the video, I'm actually carrying. Okay, the next bug I wanted to talk about was Crow's pay-to-win skin. That's right. You heard me correctly. Captain Crow does significantly more damage. I'll get the gameplay, put them side by side, and show you guys really quick. So Crow's poisons work a little bit differently than Byron's. They don't stack the way Byron's does, unless you're using the Captain Crow skin. If we take a look here side by side, you can see the Captain Crow skin doing way more damage. And even when I get up close and uh, I use my super on the robot over and over again, look at the DPS difference in the top right it's literally not even close i think that captain crow can probably get up to like 18,000 dps on this and the regular crow skin can barely touch 10,000. okay i want to take this crow skin into a game and test it out on actual players oh baby we're playing against a rosa all right this is like a great time to test out our damage uh output here okay where's the rosa no no okay wait hold on dude my damage is insane we're gonna stun the gale there run away from the tara who's trying to use the infinite no 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 that didn't kill me that didn't kill me also unrelated can we talk about the commentators in this game it's actually really really nice wipeout is such a solid game mode i love it i think it's so well well done uh all right let's see if we can actually pick up a kill here there we go we'll kill the rosa there no problem uh come on give me my super i'm jumping out no okay we need one more kill or two more kills come on don't die boys don't die don't die don't die. Ems, you cannot die. Ems, you can't. 
What did I say? Okay, I'm playing another game because I wasn't paying attention last game. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, and anyway, new Brawl season, kind of hype. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. I know I know the comment section for this video was literally just going to be people's player tags, but I'm still curious to see how you guys are uh, liking this season. Oh, triple slow? I'm good at the game. My damage is stacking. I'm actually cracked at Fortnite. Oh my God, this is crazy. Like your damage output here. Look at this, dude. I should not be hitting this guy for that much. This is insane, dude. Especially like this skin versus a Mortis matchup is probably like so free because you jump up and down on them and you probably do like 10,000 damage. Uh, it's just crazy, man. All right, let's see if we can get the Primo to like... Bro, I, like I'm melting this guy, dude. This game's already almost over. All right, who wants it, boys? Who wants it? Okay, there it is. Doesn't matter, baby. GG. On to the next glitch. Okay, so our mission for this game is to get a crow super directly onto the Ike. I want to see how much damage I can do. Uh, so we just really need to win a bot to make that happen. That's all. We just need to win a bot. Very simple stuff. Nothing too crazy. Unfortunately, it might be too daunting of a task for my teammates to handle right now. Okay, boys, this is it. As long as the Lou doesn't defend us here, we run up to the Ike. We can do like 50% by one dive from me. Uh, unfortunately, it's looking grim here. Come on. Come on. No, I gotta stay alive. No. No. I didn't get a chance. Dive right on it. Come on. Big damage. No. Oh my god, we just tied the game. Regardless, a pretty crazy amount of damage you can do. Okay, the next bug on the list involves Meg. It's pretty much just a visual glitch where you're not in your mech suit, but it makes it look like you are in your mech suit. I'm gonna play a game right now and hopefully try and make it happen. Okay, so I believe the way that this works is that you need to be in your mech suit when the Brawl Ball rounds transition over. I don't know if this is exclusive to Brawl Ball or not. I just saw Ark's Twitter video where it happened to him when he was uh, in his suit and the rounds transitioned to the next one and he was just in the suit, but not in the suit anymore. So I'm gonna try and, oh, use it, use it, get in, get in, get in. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, my brain just froze, literally just frozen. Nice, okay, I got my suit again, this is big. I kind of just want to let the opponent score. I'm not gonna lie to you. Come on, man, I'm not in my suit anymore. No, no! <sighs> Come on, man. Okay, wait, I think I got it. I scored and I'm in my suit, which means, look, I'm, <laughs> dude, look, I'm in my suit, but I'm not in this suit. And I feel like the, <laughs> the headless horseman. <laughs> dude, this looks so stupid. All right, so let's see if I can get my super now. If, um, okay, do I get back in the suit now? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right so clearly not a dangerous bug for the game at all by any means but just something funny that you can do where you just you look stupid for a second you look like a you know a, a halfway halloween costume um but yeah anyway not that bad let's see if we can win this game actually i want to see if we can clutch up here and go big or if we're gonna flop under the pressure which i think we're about to score okay or not I didn't want to score anyway. This game's cringe. Uh, Meg suit acquired. Nice. Okay. Excellent work so far, boys. Uh, okay. Fry him. You're dead. You're trash. Ems, what are you doing? You just you just supered the ball directly into him. Okay. There's only 15 seconds left. Come on. You're not going to corner it. No, you are not cornering the ball. Come here. Come on, man. Okay. We tied. Whatever. But we did show the glitch, and that's all that matters. This guy's name was Fart Sniffer. <laughs> Okay, and the final bug that I wanted to show you guys is people got Bunny Grom early. He's an Easter skin, obviously, and Easter's not even for like another month. But if you were lucky enough to check your shop when it reset, you had a chance to have Bunny Grom already in there and you can purchase him. As you can see, Jude Brawl Stars here. Oh, we'll like the video as you guys should do too. But yeah, anyway, he got the Bunny Grom skin early and I'm kind of mad that I didn't check my shop sooner because uh, the skin's super sick very clean the eggs are like this metallic color that look awesome um even the dude the actual attacks are eggs the little yolk comes out oh dude i actually kind of want to see um i think he's just showed the super but i wasn't really paying attention okay i noticed the totem doesn't look any different oh the super looks so good with a giant egg coming down 
Uh, and obviously the, the Grom totem, like I said, doesn't look any different, but still regardless, getting a skin over a month early is absolutely insane. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I think I covered all the glitches. If I missed any, let me know in the comments. And again, I'm doing a Dr. Edgar giveaway. All you guys got to do is comment your player ID and I'll just pick some people out at random. And so like the video, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Peace.